anyway. Remember how we felt about Marcia's young man, and look how well that's turned out. Mildred! Marcia's here? No! I thought they were coming tomorrow. Hey, she's here now! Mummy! Oh. Hey, what's all this about? Darling, what is it? It's all over. What do you mean? <clears throat> Where's Jim? I've left him. You've left him? Forever. Oh, my... Excuse me. Oh, oh you must Oh, now, darling, look, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Now, tell me what it's all about. You can't go and leave for me. Mr. Royd. Oh, did you want something, Bella? Indeed, I do. I want my money. But, Bella... There's no buts about it. I'm not saying a word about Mr. David, but when it comes to Mr. John bringing down his, well, whatever she is, and now Miss Marcia, all without a word to anybody, and me working my fingers to the bone, nothing to give him but cauliflowers the size of Brussels sprouts, and five more tomorrow, then all I say is, oh, no, I'm going home to look after me dad. Now, look here, Bella. You... You'll find Mrs. Royden there. for the moment when Jim will say, by Jove, I must wash. But that can't be all, dear. It isn't all. There's a coffee. Coffee? Yes. You wouldn't think there was anything unusual in having coffee after dinner, would you? Yet every night, every single night when it comes in, Jim rubs his hands and says, ah, coffee. Night after night. I can't stand it. But darling, you can't leave him because of the coffee. I have left him. You reach a point where you can't stand it any longer, and I reached it last night. And don't say it's because I'm going to have a baby, because I'm not. Shh, Daddy. What do you mean, Shh? You mustn't go along there. Jenny David, having the most terrific row. Don't you know it's very wrong to listen to other people's conversations? You get back at once, please. and don't give me a chance to explain. I don't want to hear. I know what I saw with my own eyes. But there was nothing to see. She just slipped. Yes, yes, and so did you. Oh, don't be so ridiculous. If I'm so ridiculous. Why don't you go and dance with your friend? But you're being utterly unfair, and you know it. You've been in a filthy mood all day. First you take it out of Madame Edna, and now me. Anything else? Yes. Look, do you realize we're being married the day after tomorrow? I realize we're expected to be married the day after tomorrow. Don't do stop talking like a book on deportment. Look, Janet, darling. Don't darling me. All right, I won't. You can be as ill-mannered and bad-tempered as you please. You beast! Go! Oh! Janet! tomorrow afternoon. Yes, yes, we'll all be there. Huh? Oh, yes. yes, everybody here is deliriously happy. Bye. 
find yourself together, Master. Tell me what it's all about, darling. Come on. Would you like some tea? Have it. Oh, I'm so sorry we had to hold it here. I quite forgot we wanted the church for the christening. I'm lucky to have a curate. I was thinking, Handel's Largo for the voluntary. Oh, very good idea. Always goes down well. Can you see the door from there? Not quite. You'd better take a signal from George. George! Uh, George, I want you to take a position by the door where Miss Butte can see you. Now, take your handkerchief out. And when you see the bride come through the door, blow your nose. What for? As a signal for Miss Butte. <laughs> no, not yet, George. I can't help it, Vicar. I got a cold. Oh, have you? Oh, well, in that case, you'd better face this way when you're blowing for Miss Butte and the other way when you're blowing for yourself. Ah, David. Dead on time. Where's Janet? I don't know. Oh, well, I don't suppose she'd be long. Arthur! Mm -hmm. What on earth are you doing? You ought to be in church. Church? Oh, uh, church. Is it half past two? Yes, of course, everyone will be waiting. Where are the girls? Janet! Miranda! Look at all this. What's the matter with everyone? They haven't started to put up the marquee. Oh, did you remember to order the soft drinks? Yes, yes, it's all taken care of. They haven't sent nearly enough tongue for the sandwiches. Madam Edna ought to be shot. What's Madam Edna got to do with the sandwiches? Sandwiches? Who said she had? No, no, no. She's made my dress much too tight and it'll all have to be let out. And what we're going to do for sheets for everyone, I don't know. Aunt Harriet arriving this afternoon's upset all my arrangements. Listen, dear. Aren't we perhaps making too much fuss about this wedding? Fuss? Oh, but, but they've got to be married, haven't they? Yes, I know. But what I mean to say is, uh, don't you think that Janet and David are more important than drinks and sandwiches and sheets? <laughs> no, what are you talking about? Someone has to see things are properly organised. Janet, what on earth are you doing? You ought to have been in church hours ago. Now, go along, all of you. Come on, both of you. Off you go. What are we getting to the Yeah, I'll see. Now, let me see. The cake. Bella! Hi. This is a lot of flat doodle, isn't it? I mean, why not an honest to goodness registry office? Well, you know how it is. Of course. They must have their show. The victims in the arena. Everyone has a ball except the unhappy couple. Who said anything about being unhappy? Oh, come off it. You can be honest with me. Why do people say what they really think? That music, for instance. I think it stinks, don't you? I didn't ask for it. Why can't they play Spike Mulligan's Wedding March Stomp? <coughs> but is it as important as all that? I mean, unless, of course, the wife is utterly bourgeois. sure you haven't been bored while you've been waiting. Good afternoon to you all. Well, let's take up our places, shall we? Excuse me. David and John, you're already there. Oh, yeah. Now, as they come up, David, you move over to there. And Janet beside him. Uh, back a little, Miranda. You've been all through this before, I believe, Arthur. <coughs> now, David, I shall say to you, wilt thou have this woman to thy wedded wife? To live Perhaps they would rather you were marrying her. In the holy estate of matrimony. Wilt thou love her, comfort Perhaps her? Perhaps you'd be glad if I did. Perhaps I would. And there, David, you'll say, I will. David. But say I will. I will. Then I shall say to you, Janet, wilt thou have this man to thy wedded husband to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate? Got a Matthew. smut on the end of your nose. Obey him and serve him have with I? honor and keep him in sickness and oh, very interesting. And forsaking all other, keep the you don't know how stupid you look. as long as you both shall live. Janet. Janet, that's where you say I will. I will. Now, I say, who giveth this woman to be married to this man? Ah, that's where I come in, I suppose. Yes, but you don't say anything. You're quite sure about that. I seem to remember at Marcia's wedding, I said... Then you shouldn't have. Well, you know, I, I think I should. But after all, you ask me, who giveth this woman... Any proposal for rewriting the marriage service should be addressed to His Grace, the Archbishop of Canterbury. Now, David, you will repeat after me, I, David, take the Janet Hermione to my wedded wife. To have and to hold from this day forward, for better for worse. Is your name to really a man? It is. Any objection? 
Man. Well, of course, if you're going to be deliberately offensive. You, of course, are sweet and self. I hadn't realized I was marrying a smug, smutty faced oaf. And I hadn't realized I was marrying a stupid little mean minded, jealous schoolgirl. Children, pay attention, please. Janet, this is where you give David your hand. Right. All right, David. Leave this to me. Well, how did it go? Like a bomb, I slapped his face. Wonderful. Your Aunt Harriet's just arrived. You'd better... Did you say someone slapped your face? I said I slapped David's face. Janet. Hard. You come with me, young lady. What's all this about? Daddy? Yeah? Suppose I told you I changed my mind, that I didn't want to get married tomorrow. What would you say? I should say, all right. Don't. You mean you wouldn't mind? I mean I wouldn't want you to go on with it against your will. I wonder how many marriages haven't been broken off at the last minute because all the presents would have to be sent back. Oh, Daddy, I'm so miserable. No, no. no. Come and tell me all about it. No. No, just what is the trouble? I'm not sure. I think it's all this awful fussing and arranging and everyone behaving as if I'd changed. They peer at you as though you have some sort of terrible disease and they're watching for the spots to appear. <laughs> as long as you can keep a sense of humor, there's no real damage done. I suppose we could run away and go to a registry office. What? Now, look here, young lady. My home has been turned upside down. I've put up with your Aunt Florence's excitement and I'm about to suffer your Aunt Harriet. I shall spend tomorrow dressed up like a waiter, watching a lot of people whom I don't really know, drinking a lot of champagne that I can't really afford. You're not the only one, you know. You've been wonderful. Oh, rubbish. It's your mother. You've got to keep her happy, haven't we? Thought so. Oh, how do you do? Oh, good afternoon. We haven't met, have we? I'm Janet's Aunt Harriet. How do you do? You just arrived? Um, no, no, no. I was, um, I was at the rehearsal. Oh. Oh, do come and sit down. So you know all about this face-slapping incident? I do. You actually saw it? I mean, quite close? Very. Seems to be a most unpleasant young man. He does? Yes, and Janet's such a sweet girl, if a trifle spoiled, but then that's her mother's fault. Tell me, how did you become involved with this adventurer? Adventurer? Well, they say he has no money, absolutely no money at all. Who does? Why, everybody. Oh. And he's going to be disappointed. Arthur Royd may be a consulting engineer, but nobody's consulted him in years. He's living on his capital like the rest of us. One really wonders what Janet saw in this cheater person. Well, that's really rather difficult for me to say. Indeed, why? because I happen to be this traitor person. Janet? Yes, David? You're coming with me. Where? Never mind. David, I can't. 